Let's make a delicious chocolate zucchini bread. Welcome back to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill and today we're gonna make chocolate zucchini bread because it is zucchini season. And I've got zucchini going off in my garden, so we need to use that up. But first I wanna share with you something really touching to me. Uh, in our supporting member community, we, I always have a monthly drawing for a product giveaway. And this month we're giving away a Ninja Creamy. And we asked a question to enter. I always ask a question, something kind of fun. So I asked everybody, what was a positive health outcome since you went plant-based or went primarily plant-based? And we got some wonderful answers and we're gonna scroll that on the screen while this show is going. So take a gander at those, do a little read. You might even see your own comment in there. So let's get started here. All right, so for the dry ingredients, we're gonna start with a cup and a half of rolled oats that we're just gonna grind into a, a flour. Just in your Nutribullet, you can use whatever blender you have. It's really simple to grind this, the oats into a flour. Just takes, you know, about 20 seconds or so. All right, see it's super simple. We're gonna to toss that into our bowl here. And I'm just gonna set this aside because we're gonna need that again for our wet ingredients. Then we have a half a cup of cocoa powder, two tablespoons of flax meal, and that's where you're gonna get all those really wonderful omega-3s. I've got a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Now we're just gonna whisk this up just to get any of those clumps out of the, you know, the baking powder or the baking soda or the cocoa powder, just to make sure we don't have any of those little clumps in there. Okay, now onto our wet ingredients. So we're gonna use this again. And I've got a cup of pitted deglet dates here. You can use medjool dates too, but just one cup. Got a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And that really is just going to assist some of the other things to help it rise a little bit more because it's such a heavy bread, it needs a little oomph to get it to rise. One teaspoon of vanilla extract and three quarters of a cup of unsweetened soy milk, but you can use whatever plant milk you like. I always just stress that it's unsweetened because the sweetness is gonna come from those dates. Now we're just gonna blend this until those dates are completely pulverized. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of free printable recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy cookbook series are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting membership community. So if you love our recipes, I invite you to join us on our mission to make plant-based cooking easy and follow the link in the description to become a supporting member today. There's no denying the plant-based diet is a nutrient powerhouse, but did you know there are a handful of hard-to-get nutrients even well-crafted diets are often lacking? The latest research suggests that complementing your diet with a few specific vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s will help boost your energy and keep you thriving for the long term. That's why my daily health routine includes Complement Essential. Complement Essential contains the eight critical nutrients lacking from most plant-based diets and dosages optimized specifically for us. Plus, Complement is completely transparent about ingredient sourcing and third-party testing, publishing the results directly on their website. As a special discount for our viewers, just use code PLANTBASEDEASY at checkout to save 15% off of your order. There we go, super simple. 
make sure we get all of that liquid off of there. And my oven is already preheated to 350 degrees. And if you want the printable recipe, there'll be a link in the details below. I'm just gonna put all this together. This is such a great bread, especially for summer, you know, when you have those extra zucchinis that need to get used up. Especially, you know, if you if you grow zucchinis, you know what I'm talking about because you always have tons of zucchini kind of all at one time. So this is a good way to get rid of that zucchini. So now we have a cup and a half of grated zucchini. I didn't squeeze the liquid out or anything, just leave it just fresh. Because we kind of need that extra liquid in there just to moisten the bread. Now we're just going to stir it up. And it is a bit of a dry mixture and you don't want to add any more liquid to it because when that zucchini is in the oven and starts heating up, it's going to release more of that moisture. So it will be a nice and moist cake once it is cooked. Or bread, I said cake, it'll be a bread. Okay, and I just have a silicone pan here. This is just a, a standard bread size uh, bread loaf or loaf pan. You could use a glass one or a metal one, just line it with parchment paper. Just gonna scoop that into the pan. And then you're gonna wanna smooth out the top because you don't want if you don't smooth off the top, it'll just the top will be really rough looking, a rough texture. So get all of that off the spatula first. And then if you are a chocoholic like we are here in the Dalton household, we love our chocolate. We are going to sprinkle some chocolate chips on the top. And these are uh, sugar-free chocolate chips that we get from, I think it's Santa Barbara Chocolate Company. And I'll give you a link to that in the details below also to that company. But you have to buy them in bulk. So we buy a big bag of them and it lasts us for a long time. But it just gives you a little extra something, a little extra chocolatey. And if you're not sugar-free, you could just use, you know, just some regular vegan chocolate chips, sprinkle them on top, but you don't have to put it on there at all. All right, so now it's gonna go into the oven and we're gonna put it on 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Okay, it's done and it smells amazing. Come on in and take a look. Oh, I cannot wait to dig into this. So I'm going to let this cool for a few minutes and then I'll meet you at the table for a taste. Okay, let's slice this guy up. Ooh, it still smells so amazing in here. Mmm, it's nice and spongy. Mmm. Just lightly sweet, nice and moist. You're going to love it. Come on back next week for another great recipe.